around four o'clock. This is the time where they coming out. And it's take almost an hour to paddle here from our village down here. They try, there is no fish, then they go back nothing, with nothing. I'm seeing the rest of them. I'm also worried. I'm worried too much of the village. Because I'm even not getting any place to move for him. Then I'm worried too much now. It's supposed to place him go down with him before I buy him before I Because I'm saying this no more, I'm not in something holy, I'm saying this here. Me, uh, one fella, a small boy, me and Mambla, me go out the reef. We first have a catching stack of fish inside over the pools, inside the pools here. But canoes are full, but today you go there, no anything or similar before now. Hard for you catch him stack of fish now. And so a chance. Is much more difficult. Yes, yes. Before they come, they catch fish, and now they find it difficult. We don't know why. So yeah. only cut three. <laughs> Maybe this is not a good day. <laughs> yeah. Some just blaming the climate change, everything is changing. Here, this one, I'm from Taro. I uh, have uh, food security, blow me fella. Time bad weather, time you know, fella no catch him stack of fish, but if I come and take him uh, some taro. Uh, before, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, stay for, for one week, one week uh, 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 period, yeah? Uh, but him no safe, no good. But after this fella, King Tide, him come lo, lo, lo December, him come inside lo here, come inside lo kakake. The place is full, and uh, time me for try for put him for for one week, and I'm, I'm, I'm sour the uh, following day. Him no service stop a long time now. Oh, him service stop only one day. November last year, we experienced a really big high tide. Yeah, the lower places are underwater. Here, underwater. All these uh, places are underwater. <laughs> here, here. It's uh, affect those who have sicknesses, as high blood, and even the children find it hard, and also the generally community for moving around and doing things. The tide even reaches the kitchen, where mothers are very find it hard to do cooking and other. Uh, no more routine in the in the families. Is it more frequent than years before? Yes, uh, for the past years we didn't experience such, but as from 2020, uh, 19, yeah, coming up, we experience uh, very big changes uh, in the tide. The past years as we experience. It's only three days that the tides continue to rise. But nowadays, it takes five days or even more than that. It's a very, very big problem to our community. Like other provinces, Mali is one of the provinces with vulnerable places that needs to be addressed urgently, like uh, the Langalanga Lagoon. There are islands like in Walande. Uh, the island used to be, people used to stay before. Now, when I visit them last month, uh, the island is, you know, no buildings. Uh, we can only see posts standing out from the reefs. Uh, no one uh, is on the island now. It's all covered up with water. 
So they are moving uh, uh, to the mainland. The biggest environmental challenges that Solomon Islands and other Pacific Island countries are facing now is sea level rise. And the fact that, you know, we should live in small atoll islands. But the big islands are also affected by sea level rise from where I come from, half of the plantation. That was planted by my, um, my grandfather. Within the last 50 years, half of it is gone. It just washed away by sea level rise. And that's the same all over the place.